Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to be showing you how I make product mock-ups for my cosmetic. So what exactly are product mock-ups? A product mock-up is a model of what your final product will look like. Product mock-ups are not only used for physical products, but they also can be used for digital ebooks to showcase that you have something coming out soon, apparel such as shirts, hoodies, branded drinkware such as cups, coffee mugs, water bottles, stationary products such as business cards, thank you card. It could be a lot of things that just display your work in its final eyes. A few things to know before even creating a product mock-up is to have clear intentions of what this product mock-up will be used for. Are you using this mock-up to create a survey and get feedback from your audience to see if you need to make any further changes? Are you using this mock-up to promote an upcoming launch? Are you using this mock-up to create a product store on your website? When your intentions are set, you know how to design and what product mock-up to download and create from when you have a clear vision of where you're going. Number two, make sure you have Photoshop to edit your product mock-ups. So basically it can be a little complex and time consuming if you are time consuming, if you are a beginner because you have to get familiar with how Photoshop works. But once you get it down pat and you know how Photoshop works, then working through these templates and PSD files will be a breeze. Number three is an external hard drive. And it really depends on how much storage you already have on your computer, but I know that downloading these PSD files that you upload into Photoshop, they are very large and they can take up a lot of space on your computer and that could lead to slowing your computer down. So I would invest in maybe like a two terabyte external hard drive. They are about 50 to $60 on Amazon or you can get a one terabyte. It will still hold enough for about 40, 40 to $30 and I will list the one that I have in my description box as well. Now that I am broke down the importance of product mockups, what product mockups are, now it's time for me to show y'all how I create product mockups for my cosmetic and the websites that I use to download these files from as well. So let's just get into it. So I purchased my cosmetic labels from Etsy and I use the seller Label Moi. I will list her in my description box. And as you can see, it comes with different templates for different type of product items. You just have to pick something that aligns with your brand. And y'all know I love to use Free Pick and Envato. And I use those websites to get my PSD mock-ups from. And yes, you do have to pay a subscription. But if y'all have made it this point to y'all business where y'all are creating products, pay for that subscription. I'm going to move forward and use that template that we got from Etsy and upload it to Canva. But before we do that, I don't have a product name for my eyebrow gel, so I use AI with my Notion subscription. And you want to make sure that you create a strong, bold, specific question when you are asking AI anything. And it's just going to create a list of product names for my eyebrow gel. And I always type it, I always refresh it and go for the second round because the first list is always kind of general. And then you want to Google and check and see if the name is available. And I'm going to pick my top three that I like. And I'm also going to create three product mock-ups too. And I'm going to share that either with my audience so they can uh, vote on which one they like. Or I can send it in a group chat and share with my family and friends. I have been using Canva often. So I already have all of my logos and my fonts uploaded to Canva. I am on a subscription plan with Canva. I believe that you will get the best features out of Canva on the premium plan. So I am uploading all of my information that belongs on my product. And you just want to make sure that you remove the circle and upload your PNG file into Photoshop. And just begin replacing their stock images with 
with your graphics that you just created by double clicking the layer to edit. And it'll just pop up right on the product just as is. It's just always great to have your options. At the third mock-up, I switched the color palette around a little bit. And this is how I designed the box. And this is the final outcome. It's a smooth texture box. I want to show y'all the other mock-ups I made following those same steps with my shopping bags, my 3D metal um, transfer stickers. And you can really apply them on anything. Your bags, your product. And I also used Envato to create a mock-up for my shop sign that I needed to send to my Etsy seller. And it just really brings your vision to life and allows you to get that idea of how you want things. You could just print that paper out and post it on your wall just to see how will it look before you spend that much money on it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna let y'all see how I designed it and how it came out.
I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and if you made it this far, leave a heart in the description box down below and like this video, subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you all in my next one.